Is your Wi-Fi so slow that it feels like it's the end of the world? Hey, what's up? Adam Lobo here and you're watching Adam Lobo TV. So this time around, I'm back again with my trusty internet service provider, Time Internet, to talk to you about how to speed up your Wi-Fi at home. So if you have been struggling with this a lot, let's get this settled once and for all. First of all, let's talk about the common home Wi-Fi issues. Say you and your friends decide to get together for some multiplayer action game, but your internet speed is not so on, and before you know it, the game lags, you get shot in the head, and then your kill streak is gone, your team loses, and everyone hates you. Okay, maybe not so over dramatic, but you get the point. So before we blame it on the ISP, let's take a step back, breathe, Usa. Okay, now let's try to identify what's causing these issues. Because as they say, for every problem, there is a solution. First of all, how many devices are connected to your Wi-Fi? Because if you're like me who have three smartphones, two tablets, three laptops, then there you go. That's one of the problems. Because those unused devices may have background applications that are running and eating up your bandwidth. So check your devices to see if there's any apps running and just close them. Or you can even try disconnecting the devices from your Wi-Fi to see if there's any significant improvement to your speed. And here's a little tip for Time subscribers out there, which is of course the Time Internet app. Where this can help you to manage your connected devices so you can easily connect or disconnect them with just a few tap of your finger. Now, another cause of a slow Wi-Fi could be the interference of your Bluetooth household devices. Now, believe it or not, that little robot vacuum friend of yours might be doing a very good job at cleaning, but it might be also interfering with your Wi-Fi. Now, this is because that Bluetooth is designed to work on a 2.4 GHz, the same frequency that most common routers use, and this results in an electromagnetic or radio frequency interference. And smart home devices usually run at a 2.4 GHz, so that bandwidth can be congested compared to a 5 GHz. And the same is true for your microwave too. And did you also know that that giant mirror that you have in front of your router might be also reflecting your Wi-Fi signal? Yep, I too was very amused with these findings. So try reducing the number of reflective surfaces and active Bluetooth devices near your routers or mesh devices. Now doing that should minimize the interference and increase your Wi-Fi signal strength. Now speaking of Wi-Fi frequencies, I know what a pain it is to keep switching between 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. Well, the awesome thing about time routers is that they can do it all for you. Now, these mesh-enabled routers are equipped with the technology to help your devices to connect to the strongest signal no matter where you are, where you don't have to even lift a finger. Number three would be the layout of your home can also factor into the internet experience too. So for example, in my studio, I technically have two rooms, but since the smaller room is closer to the router, I get a better Wi-Fi there than the other rooms simply because it's blocked by fewer walls. Now you might be thinking, well, I can't move my walls, can I? Well, you don't have to. How about setting up a whole home mesh Wi-Fi system to overcome those dead corners? Now this is because the time has a range of affordable mesh devices that ensures you can enjoy fast and stable Wi-Fi all over your home. Plus, their Time Internet app has a cool function which lets you check the Wi-Fi strength in a particular room so you'll know where to place your mesh for optimum coverage. Then finally, you might need to ask yourself whether your current internet subscription is enough to serve the bandwidth usage of your household. Where for example, having four power users at home sharing a 100 Mbps connection might not be ideal at all. Well, luckily, Time Internet offers speeds up to 1 Gbps at affordable prices and I have been using Time for a while right now and it has been an amazing experience. But just don't take it from me. This guys are certified as the most consistent broadband in Malaysia. Now, it's just not that. The Time Internet app comes in super handy when it comes to managing your connection. Say, if your Wi-Fi speed suddenly drops, just run diagnostics on the app and it will be able to identify common connection issues and offer a quick fix. 
And if that doesn't solve your problem, Time Support Ninjas are always ready to lend a helping hand through the live chat function. And I seriously cannot tell you how beneficial it has been for me to be able to access the control hub within the app, not just for easy troubleshooting but other cool features like Wi-Fi configuration and device installation. Now, if you're not a subscriber or time yet, sign up now to enjoy stable ultra-fast speeds and I'll leave a link down below for you to check it out. Alright, hope you found this video helpful and if you did, be sure to give this video a nice big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel because in my next video, I'll be giving you some tips on the difference between 2.4GHz and 5GHz Wi-Fi bands and when to use them. Aside from that, thank you so much for watching. My name is Adam Lobo and I'll see you in my next video.